and Honda revived its legendary S model with the S2000 in the year 2000, enthusiasts rejoiced at the return of a purebred sports car. With its sleek design, rear-wheel drive dynamics and exhilarating performance, the S2000 quickly became a beloved icon among automotive enthusiasts. At the heart of this two-seater convertible was the groundbreaking F20C engine. With its high rearing nature, exceptional power output and technological innovations, the F20C played a crucial role in establishing the S2000 as an iconic sports car. In this video, we'll delve into the reasons why the F20C engine was truly exceptional, exploring its amazing engineering advancements, performance capabilities and tuning potential. Let's start with the engineering of this insane engine. The F20C inline-4 engine set new standards for power and performance. Honda's engineers employed cutting-edge technology to achieve an impressive specific power output of 124 horsepower per litre, coupled with a remarkable 9000 rpm redline. And this power output actually set records for the most horsepower per litre in a naturally aspirated engine, and it held this record till Ferrari took it from them with the 458 Italia. This engine featured an aluminum block with fiber reinforced metal cylinder liners, contributing to its lightweight construction while maintaining durability. Key components such as forged aluminum pistons and a forged steel crankshaft with five central bearings enhanced the engine's strength and reliability. On top of the well-designed subassembly, the F20C showcased Honda's renowned VTEC technology. With a narrow 25.5 degree intake and exhaust valves, the engine's VTEC valve train employed a high strung design featuring coaxial rocker arms. This configuration minimized friction within the valve train, allowing for higher revving speeds and efficient power delivery. As the engine surpassed 5850 rpm, the VTEC valve train seamlessly transitioned to high lift mode, unleashing a surge of power and exhilarating performance, and giving us that distinct VTEC sound. With a power output of 234 horsepower and approximately 161 foot pounds of torque or 218 Nm of torque, the F20C engine propelled the S2000 with great acceleration. The engine got paid to one of the best 6-speed manual gearboxes available and a Torsen limited slip diff. Now this combination of lightweight construction, high revving capabilities and exceptional power to weight ratio allowed the S2000 to be a joy in the corners as well as on the straights in between said corners. This engine's brilliance doesn't stop there. You see, while the F20C engine thrilled enthusiasts, some desired some more low-end torque, and Honda responded by introducing the AP2 variant of the S2000 in 2004, featuring the F22C1 engine. With a displacement of 2.2 liters, the F22C1 offered a longer stroke, reconfigured camshaft, and a higher compression ratio of 11.1 to 1, although the redline was slightly reduced to 8000 rpm. VTEC engagement occurred at 6000 rpm. Now, these changes to the engine gave the car a 10% increase in torque from 2500 rpm while maintaining the same horsepower rating. This refinement addressed concerns about low end performance while retaining the F20C's high revving characteristics. Now, many disagree on which one of these two engines are better, but for me personally, nothing screams VTEC like a 9000 rpm redline. Yes, it has less torque, but there are other ways to address that. When it comes to tuning the F20C engine, there are various options available to unleash its full potential. While bolt-on modifications like an aftermarket exhaust and cold air intake can provide initial improvements, the gains might not be significant. However, pairing this mod with a 4 to 1 header and ECU remap, you can yield around 10 additional horsepower to the wheels, along with an enhanced exhaust note. For those who wish to maintain the naturally aspirated concept envisioned by Honda, headporting with bronze valve guides and enlarged intake and exhaust valves can be considered. Additionally, upgrading to 50mm throttle bodies, high compression pistons, adjusting cam gears and upgraded camshafts, you can further enhance the performance. To achieve approximately 300 horsepower, supporting fueling and cooling modifications along with an upgraded flywheel and remap are necessary. Beyond this point though, a stroker kit becomes essential to increase the power. Now while naturally aspiration provides ample options, it's the addition of forced induction that truly brings the F20C engine to life. Installing a supercharger kit alongside the essential bolt-on upgrades can provide even more power. 
And if you're seeking a truly exhilarating fast road setup, simply adding a turbocharger can easily push the F20C into the 400 horsepower realm. What's impressive about the F20C is its ability to handle significant power. With the right supporting modifications and tuning, stock blocks have been known to reach 700 horsepower. However, it's important to consider the trade-offs between pushing the boundaries and maintaining Honda's renowned reliability. For those aiming for power outputs of around 600 horsepower or beyond, investing in headporting, titanium valve retainers, and comprehensive fueling and cooling upgrades becomes crucial. Now, production of the Honda S2000 came to an end in 2009, but its legacy lives on. The F20C and F22C engines are celebrated for their remarkable performance, however, they are known to consume oil after intense track sessions. The S2000 may not be the most comfortable sports car for extended road trips, yet its desirability among enthusiasts continue to drive prices upward. The enduring appeal and limited availability have made owning a mint Honda S2000 a sought-after experience, with prices reaching levels close to their original debut. So let's end everything off. The F20C and F22C brings us everything we love about Honda engines, high revs, reliability, and that damn VTEC noises. I think I need to go and take a cold shower. So I'll sign off here. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. And if you did enjoy it, you'll most probably enjoy the other stuff I make as well. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?